What's going on everybody? It's Game Unboxing Reviews here and welcome back to another LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 video. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create Deadpool using the in-game customizer. So without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so obviously the first thing you're going to do is come to the character customizer, which is in Avengers Mansion. Then you want to come all the way over here and choose a brand new character slot and not throw a grenade like Gwenpool just did. Let me just let that explode. There we go, okay. <laughs> right, so we're going to be choosing a brand new character slot because of course I've overwrite every single one that we've previously done because we're going to be starting a whole new wave of custom characters. And in this one, like I've already said, we're making Deadpool. Now, Deadpool was a heavily requested character. Like, you guys really, really wanted Deadpool. And I saw the comments, you know, I saw all the requests. Man, there was a lot of them. And, you know, I thought, okay, people want Deadpool. I'll try and make him, but I just didn't think it would come out very good but last night I was just messing around with the character creator like usual and I came up with a pretty decent looking Deadpool I'm actually quite happy with how this one turned out I'm not sure if you guys will like it we'll have to see you know I'll have to look at the comments but hopefully you will because I'm really happy with the way this one turned out anyway enough of me rabbiting on let's get started so for the head all right let's go with the head now you'll be surprised okay the first thing I thought of was okay we're not gonna get Deadpool's exact eyes so you probably have to use like a Spider-Man piece or something and every Spider-Man piece I kind of chose just look too much like Spider-Man for me, you know? So if we go down to the bottom where the Spider-Man piece is, you know, you can see this one here. You could potentially use that one, but I just thought it looked too much like Spider-Man, so I didn't want to use it. There's also this one, this one, this one, and this one. And I mean, you could use that one, I guess. But again, I just still saw Spider-Man too much there. So, the one that I actually settled on is Miles Morales. Now, you're probably thinking, well, why? You can see the webs on it. Ah, but here's the thing. If you make it red, you can't see the webs. Now, you probably can right now. You probably can see the webs on your screen right now. But as soon as you get into Chronopolis, they're barely visible at all. Trust me, it actually turned out really nice. I was really impressed by how... You know, that just worked. Like, I just made it red, the same color of the red on the webs of Miles' mask, and it looks really, really cool. So that's the head we're going to go with. Then, for the body. Now, for the body, I chose... If I can find it... This one. Yeah, Gorgons. I think Gorgons looks pretty cool. You know, because it's like uh, the equipment and the belt and stuff on, on Deadpool's... Uh, costume and everything I think that looks quite nice then for the arms now this isn't really you know a specific version of Deadpool although I did look a lot at Ryan Reynolds specific costume you know like the black at the top of the arms the black gloves uh, the black on the bottom of the boots you know things like that that's what I kind of looked at so it's not necessarily me trying to make Ryan Reynolds Deadpool it's just trying to make a good looking Deadpool while looking at that at the same time so it's a bit of everything it's a bit classic a bit Ryan Reynolds it depends on how you look at it basically so for the arm pieces we're gonna go all the way up to the top and we're gonna choose these because I think they look pretty cool then we're gonna go to the hands and we're gonna make them black for the gloves very nice then for the hips, uh, you could go ahead and give them brown, like it's a belt. But I just kind of kept looking at that and thinking it looked kind of out of place. So I just went with red. And then, and you could also, if you want to, uh, just so you know, you can go down here. And if we can find it. Where is it? Where's Gorgon? There it is. Yeah, you, you could use that. Maybe. But again, I just thought it looked too out of place. So I, I just like the I like the red. Yeah. And then for the legs, we're gonna go with I believe it's four bushman. I can find it. Four bushman, where are you? There it is. Yep, four bushman. And there you go. So that looks pretty cool. Now, also what I did was you can't have like his katanas on his back or anything, but I wanted to give him some weapons to put on his back anyway. So I thought what would look quite nice is a quiver. You know, just so it gives him that little bit more detail. Uh, but I think it looks pretty cool. Again, you can probably see the lining in the face, but don't worry about that. As soon as you get into Chronopolis, it's gone. It's no longer there, which is great. Now, of course, we're going to give him some weapons. Now, there are two ways you could go about doing this. One, you could go ahead and give him some guns. You go like that. You go with two guns. And you could make them black like that there you go that looks like Deadpool that's cool but I personally preferred the katanas I just think it looks better 
There you go. You can have one katana or you can have two. We're going to go with two. Just looks better. And then you just choose the colors you want. I think we'll go with... Uh, I don't know. Which color katanas should we go with? Usually I'd go with that. You don't want to go with them. I think we'll go with... Maybe that? I don't know. I think... Yeah, I think we'll go with that. I think that looks cool. So we'll go with that. And that's it. Now, of course, so we've done the appearance, we've done the weapons, now moving on to the abilities. So, abilities, let's see. Techno access. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Grapple, yes, I'd give him a grapple, because I feel like he'd have one of those. Mind control, no. Magic, no. Deflect. If he could deflect with his sword, that'd be pretty sweet. Let's see if he can do that. So, we've got them. Wall climbing, what did he get? Uh, I don't know, Maybe? I mean, you've got characters like Daredevil and things like that, you know, they're not characters that can uh, climb walls because they've got superpowers. They could just climb walls because that's kind of, you know, they, they get that's how they get around. They jump on rooftops and stuff like that. And I feel like Deadpool would be able to climb, maybe? I, I don't know. Well, I think we'll put it on. I th I, yeah, I think that'll be quite good. Crack Lego walls, no. Fix things, uh... Nah. Vine cut, yes, he's got the swords. Super strength, no. Time manipulation, no. Portal create, no. Rune tracing, no. Dig, no. No tracking. But we do want to teleport because Deadpool can teleport. So let's just check that again because I know sometimes you guys will look over the videos and you'll see that I've accidentally put something on that wasn't supposed to be there. So let's just make sure I've got the right stuff this time. We've got to teleport. We got vine cut, deflect, techno access, wall climbing, grapple. I'm happy with that. All right, square. For tap square, you just want uh, fighting, so you can attack with the swords. Hold square. I like to be able to throw the swords, in my opinion. So I think that looks quite cool. Uh, circle. I don't think you need anything on circle. I mean, oh well, you could. Uh... Oh no, but yes, you will. You will have something on circle. My bad. You want quick teleport. Yes, so tap circle, you want quick teleport. Hold circle, I didn't really bother giving him anything, I just leave that. And there you go, now of course what you want to do is double tap X, we're just going to have double jump. Hold X, we're not going to have anything. And now we're going to move on to the passive traits. So for the passive traits, for the health, I would just do red. For the health type, I'd go with invulnerable, just because, you know, you pretty much can't die, really, I mean... You just attack him more and more and more. I mean, I think, was it in Lego Marvel Super Heroes? I can't remember if he did it or not. But, you know, if you attacked a Wolverine, his, he just kind of regenerate all the time. I think Deadpool did something similar. Or did the exact same, I'm not quite sure. But I think that works. I think that definitely works. Health, just go with anything. Uh, movement speed, just go with default. Target reticle will go with this one. That looks cool. Uh, just to show you again, that one. And that's it. Now, of course, we're going to name him. So, we're going to name him Deadpool. There we go. Background image. Just anything, really. Uh, let me see. Ah, uh, yeah. Why not? <laughs> we'll have that one for a change. And yeah, guys, that is my custom-made Deadpool in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2, and I think he looks pretty cool. Now, of course, what we're going to do is drop Deadpool into the Chronopolis hub world and see just what he can do. And here he is. This is, of course, my custom-made Deadpool in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. Let's just get a good look at him right here. I personally think he came out really good. I mean, you can see the head there. This is what I was talking about. You can barely see the webs at all. And even from far away, which is where you're going to have the camera most of the time when you're, you know, fighting everything, it looks great. I'm really happy with it because I wanted some eyes that had some black around them, you know, because you can't get the exact eyes Deadpool has, but these are like... You know, they've got a bit of black, and then you got... Well, it's not just white, it's a little bit blue at the same time. But I really like the eyes. I'm happy with the face overall. And then the quiver on the back, I just think that looks cool. Because it's just like, you know, he's ready for anything. He's got... I, I don't think Deadpool usually uses a bow and arrow, from what I know. But it's it just kind of replaces where he would put his katanas, basically. And of course, the swords look really cool. But again, like I was saying, you guys don't have to give him swords. You could give him guns if you want to. I just prefer the swords because I just think he looks cooler with them. And I love the fighting style as well. It's very, very cool. Alright. So, 
those are pretty much all of his abilities that I've just shown there without any explanation. You know, he's he can attack with his swords, he can target with his swords and throw, you know, them at, at stuff, and he can also teleport, which is awesome. So you can go like that. You can teleport not just in the air, like I can do it like that, but I can also go like that, like that. You know, you can do it pretty much whenever you want. I think you can even do it mid-combat. Uh, well, not exactly, but you can do it after your combat is, uh, your combo move is finished, basically. And we also gave him wall climbing as well, just because I think, you know, you got characters like Daredevil that don't even have any superpowers and they can climb walls because, like, they're super athletic and things. So I feel like D uh, Deadpool should be able to do it as well. You could say he's just putting his uh, katanas into the building and climbing up, basically. I think he'd find a way. Whoa. I can't get up. I wanted to get up there, but it won't let me. Oh, okay. Never mind. I f figured it out. Yeah, look at that. Nice. All right. You know what I'm going to do? I haven't actually used it yet, so I want to use... Let me see here. Oh, Daily Bugle Helicopter. That kind of looks like a Deadpool kind of vehicle. I was going to say I'll use Black Panther's jet, but let's, let's try this out. This looks cool. Why won't it let me spawn it? Really? You won't let me spawn it on the A where it really should be? Okay, this is this is let's pretend this is the Deadpool copter. Whoa. Okay. Ah! Enemies! Let's go take them out. Where should I go lunch? Take some enemies out. Where are they? Ooh, mummies! Alright. I'm gonna throw my katanas at this guy. Ooh! Not really much you know, damage there. Now, the reason I didn't give Deadpool super strength, from why I, I know he's like stronger than the average man, you know, much stronger than the average man, but what I kept thinking of in my head was, um, hang on, let me just take care of these guys. Right, what I was thinking of when I was doing that part of the video was basically, I kept thinking of that scene from Deadpool 1, you know, the movie, where he punches Colossus and he absolutely breaks his hand, then he breaks his leg, and just everything, you know, it just he keeps trying and trying to hurt him. Uh, so, that's what I was thinking of, because I was like, okay, if he punches Colossus and he breaks his hand, if he tries to hit a wall, chances are he's going to break his hand as well. So I just thought that wouldn't really make any sense. Um, so I just left it. I think we picked some good abilities for Deadpool. You know, I wanted to try and stay faithful to what he was like in Lego Marvel Heroes 1 as well, while also giving him a teleport ability. But I mean, he wasn't that useful in Lego Marvel Super Heroes, and what I could see from what I remember as well, he was just athletic. You know, he couldn't use techno panels and things like that. I gave him that just because I think he'd probably be able to use them. You know, he could hack into them or something. Deadpool's very useful in the comics and stuff. I mean, he seems to always get the job done most of the time. Uh... Yeah, you know, I, I didn't really try to make a specific version of Deadpool. It's just everyone wanted Deadpool, so I just tried my best to make Deadpool, you know, not a specific version. And I know I sometimes get, you know, some of the powers and abilities wrong, or I miss one, or I still have one on accidentally, and I do apologize for that, guys. It's just sometimes when you're making these videos, you know, you're just trying so hard to make sure you get that character right, you just tend to forget about little things like in the Delson video I did you know people mentioned how I forgot the teleport for Delson because when you use the smoke power you know he dashes towards people and I completely forgot about that you know it just wasn't on my mind at the time so I would have added it of course I'm fully aware he has that ability I just completely forgot at the time because I was focusing so much on the overall design and the powers I had in mind. Thank goodness you came along. So hopefully you like this Deadpool because I think it looks cool. What the heck? <laughs> He's in, look at that. He's in the helicopter. Fly Spider-Man. Can you, can you fly me somewhere? That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Can someone do so Yeah, that works. Look at him inside there. Nice. Excuse me. Oh, now we're in the old west. Oh, it's drier than a dream of hide out here. <laughs> I wonder how easily Deadpool can take care of these skeleton guys. Oh, they're not there. What the heck? That's a first. Yeehaw! Right. Hello there. Hmm. Strange. 
do 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 Oh, sorry. I, I what what? <laughs> I think I made that guy go insane. Well, actually, that's the Sakaar people, I think, like uh, species, and I think they make like like click noise. Very strange. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. I got myself another problem, if and you can spare the time. I can't, sorry. Yeah, take that. Piece of cake. Much obliged, partner. That'll teach him to mess with us. It's cool, though, now, because you could, of course, uh, team up my custom-made Deadpool with my custom-made Negasonic Teenage Warhead, so you can have them two together. That'd be pretty cool. What happens when you press... Oh, nothing. I was gonna say, what happens when you press square? Like, does anything happen? Or... L1 do anything? No, doesn't... I was thinking it might have, like, a, a light or something. You know, like a news cop to light. Ah, here's some bad guys. Hey guys, what's going on? You guys are always trashing this tent. I don't know what you have against it. Ha ha ha, got ya. Stop hitting tents, please. Oh, you webbed him up. Nice job. I should have hit him when you webbed him up. My bad. And goodbye. Very nice. See, even here, like in the darker areas, like ancient Egypt. Well, it's like a bit of ancient Egypt and a bit of noir, but you can see. You know, you can barely see the red lines. If you go really close and you, like, look really carefully, sure, you can see them. Just a bit. But, eh, I think it looks great. I'm really happy with the face. When I saw that face and I realized you could do that, I was... I couldn't believe it. I didn't think you, they would let you do that with Miles Morales' face. But, nope, they do. And it works, which is great. Whoa, 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 whoa. Noir. Oh, man, what the heck? Holy cow. Okay. Look at this big camera. <laughs> Alright, there should be some mummies over here. Ah, there's the mummies. Let's take care of all of them. Whoa, look at that. It didn't even hit me. Thanks. You're welcome. Real hot water there. You sure were. All right, I think we'll head on back to Manhattan now, and then we'll call it a day. But yeah, like I said, I'm happy with this Deadpool. I think it looks pretty cool. I just hope you guys like him as well, because I know how heavily requested this guy has been. I know some people probably don't like the uh, the walking animation. It's it's uh, you know belongs more to the female characters like Nebula. But to be honest, I've got kind of used to it. Doesn't bother me as much th that it did in Lego Marvel's Avengers. And uh, if you just keep moving and you're fighting and everything, you just kind of forget about it because it just looks well like Deadpool, really. We can go inside the shop and trash everything. Man, I love Noir New York. It looks so cool. They really nailed this uh, this area. Let me climb up there. Oh, never mind. I'll tell you what. Let's go to Lumeria and then we'll uh, go back to Manhattan. Because we could just jump back down there. So it's great. I probably should have used the breathing apparatus, but oh well. Spidey, what are you doing? I'll, I'll just leave Peter to do what he's doing. The music in Lumeria, it reminds me of the, uh, I don't know why, it kind of sounds similar to the 2003 Hulk-like theme. 
Yeah, you know, you remember that? Like that was creepy. That theme always creeped me out as a kid. That film creeped me out as a kid. Like I loved it, but it also, like, well, I loved it as a kid. I'm not so much now. But you know, it, uh, it's a creepy theme. It's a creepy film. Very strange film. But it's also quite funny at the same time. Like uh, when his dad's. Uh, Oh, what does he do? He's like, it's when Bruce is tied up and he's with his dad and, and, uh, oh, I can't remember what he does. He like, he chews the, the wires or something and he's, and, uh, he makes stupid noises. He's like, nah, 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 nah. he's like acting like a child. Oh, it's, it's, it's a funny scene. You know, it's not a great film anymore. I, I, I liked it when I was a kid, but there's some funny scenes in that film that just make me laugh. Especially with uh, his dad. His dad's just comedy. <laughs> Absolute comedy. But I mean, that film, uh, they made a game of it, the tie-in game, and I absolutely adored that game. Like, I, oh man, I played that so much as a kid. Loved it so much. Excellent game. And it was really cool because you didn't just play as Hulk, you played as Bruce Banner. And when you were a little and you saw a game that let you do that, not just Hulk, you play as Bruce Banner as well. It was huge! You know, it was absolutely huge to be able to play as both versions of the character. Um, because that, for me, when I play a game about a superhero, I find that the hero underneath them, the person underneath the mask is just as important as the hero. And that's why I'm so excited about uh, Insomniac Games' Spider-Man game on PS4, because they seem to have finally got that. You know, they they realize that people want to play as Peter as well as Spider-Man. I just hope that, uh, you know, you can play as Peter whenever you want, and it's not just ex exclusive to missions like in The Amazing Spider-Man 2, because I hated that. I want to be able to play as Peter whenever I want, you know? Any bright ideas? If you, some people might say, you know, why would you want to play as Peter Parker? That sounds boring. And if if you think that, that's totally fine. But the thing is, if it's an op, if it's possible to make it an option, make it an option. Because then people who don't want to play as Peter Parker just don't have to do it. But people that do want to play as Peter Parker, they have that option to do so, which I think is great. And again, this is one of the reasons I love the Lego game so much is because. You don't, like like I was saying about the Hulk game, you got to play as Bruce Banner in certain sections. And in this game, you can play as the Hulk and transform into Bruce Banner whenever you want, which is just perfect. That's how it should be. If we ever get like a full, full on next gen Marvel Spider-Man on PS4 kind of Hulk game, I really hope they have that, where you can play as Hulk, transform into Banner whenever you want. I mean, they should really try and, Marvel should really try and make a full on Hulk game, you know. As like a successor to Hulk Ultimate Destruction. That'd be sweet. Then you could have, uh, you know, you could have missions. Oh yeah, that would be awesome. You could have like missions that revolve around uh, Planet Hulk and World War Hulk. Like the story could slowly get up to that point. That'd be really interesting. So it would be a really different kind of experience. And it would like bring in fans. Um, well, the general public and people, you know, who liked uh, Thor Ragnarok because of... Sakaar and everything, you could have that, so you could have Planet Hulk content. But you could still like run around Manhattan and destroy buildings and throw cars, go nuts, but still be able to transform into Bruce Banner and walk around as well. Man, that would be cool. Hopefully one day we'll get something like that. I always thought Kumlun had a city on the mountain. Shame. Deadpool driving Ghost Rider's motorcycle. <laughs> awesome. Whoa, what the heck? That was crazy. Alright, let's turn, 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 turn. Whoa! Training never prepared me for this. What training? And here we are, back at Avengers Mansion. Let me just park up right real quick. Excuse Spidey. Alright, nice! Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making Deadpool because it was a lot of fun to try and get this character right. You know, like I said, I tried this one a lot and I just wasn't happy every time I made him. But I just kept going and going and see if I can make something cool. And I'm really happy with the way it turned out and I hope you guys are too. Anyway guys, I want to thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for lots more videos real soon. And as always, please remember to like, comment and subscribe.